Hi, my name's Moira and I'm a personal trainer with Babes on the Run. Today we've got a full body cardio workout. We're going to be using our body weight, so we don't need much equipment. We've just got a skipping rope and also a step. So let's get straight into it. We're going to begin with a jog on the spot. Just getting this heart rate up, so we're telling our body we're ready for exercise. We'll go into high knees. Keeping nice and tall, shoulders back and down. Now, bum kicks. Keeping nice and light on our feet. That's it, now back into a jog. High knees. And bum kicks. Awesome, get into some stretches. We're gonna start out with some trunk twists. So we're just twisting around, releasing that, um, that ankle. That's it. Next we're going to have our arms out. We're gonna squeeze our shoulder blades together as we're coming up and down, warming up these joints. Awesome, let's come into some squat pulses. So we're coming down, and we're just doing little pulses. Is everyone getting warm? I <laughs> know I am. That's it. Last bit of the warm up, we're gonna do leg swings. So just stabilize and swing that leg. Trying to keep your hips as even as possible. Forward and back, that's it. And switch to our left leg. Awesome, that's warm up done. Let's get into skipping. So we're gonna start out with just a double footed bounce. We've got 30 seconds. You can choose the intensity with this. You can go, if you're a beginner, you can take it nice and slowly. If you've done this before, you can pick up the pace. When we're skipping, we want our shoulders nice and relaxed. Back and down and our chest up. Sit nearly there. Now we're going to come onto our right foot and we're going to do a right foot bounce. Keeping nice and light on your feet. And Remember to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. See, 10 more seconds on your right foot. You start to feel it. <laughs> that's it, now come onto your left foot. If you make a little mistake, that's okay. <laughs> Happens to all of us, get straight back into it. It. Making sure that our hips are nice and even. Nearly there. Now we're going to come into alternate foot. <laughs> Let's go. Nice and light on the balls of our feet. Our wrists want to be at about waist height. We've got 10 seconds. That's it. You can pick up now. Nearly there. Three, two, one. Awesome. Check that rope down. First exercise we're going to be doing is push ups. So if you've done push ups before, you've been practicing, come down into normal position. We're coming down, chest to the floor. Straight back up. If that's a little bit too hard, if you haven't done many push-ups, come onto your knees. We're coming straight down. That's it. Breathing in on the way down, breathing out on the way up. So we're doing 30 seconds of this. Let's go. Really making 
making sure you're activating your core. Awesome, good work. I'm saying this sweat already. Okay, let's come down now into triceps. So using your step now, putting your legs out straight and we're coming down to the ground, straight back up, making sure that we're keeping our elbows tucked in and coming straight back. This isn't too hard. For beginners, we're gonna put our legs in, do exactly the same. Making sure that our back is nice and close to the bench. Let's go, down we go. Got 30 seconds. Again, we're gonna breathe in as we're going down and out as we're pushing up. That's it. 10 more seconds. Awesome. Shake it out. Going straight back into skipping. Let's go. We've got a double foot bounce. 30 seconds. Can you tell that's a cardio workout yet? <laughs> Our aim for this workout, we want to keep our heart rate up the whole time. Awesome, right leg. Do really well. If this is too hard at any point, you can always go back into the alternating jump. If you can, just keep on one leg. It's really, really good for your coordination. <laughs> That's it. Another foot. Skipping's an awesome exercise. If you want to prevent osteoporosis, especially for women, as it helps, helps increase the levels of calcium in the body. So yeah, we've got five seconds left. Doing well, keep it up. Let's go. We've got alternating legs. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting warm. <laughs> Making sure that your shoulders are back and down, your chest is nice and high, and you're breathing. Don't stop breathing, you're nearly, nearly there. Awesome. Next, we're going to work out your core. So we come down into a plank position, and we're going to come into um, push up start a push up position and back down and up and down. If this is too hard for you, you can just stay in this plank position for the 30 seconds. Let's get started. So really engaging through core and remember to breathe. As you're going up, you're breathing. Nearly there, 15 seconds. <laughs> awesome. Okay, next exercise we've got is again, we're working the core and we're going to be doing toe taps. So in this plank position, we're coming out and then on each foot, alternating. Yeah. Beginners again, if this is too hard, you can just be in that plank position. Still great. Got five more seconds. Coming up. We're back into skipping. It doesn't stop, does it? Let's go. We've got double foot bounce. 
as you get tired, you want to exercise you might find your technique sags a little bit. You really want to switch on. Nice and light bounces. And with a right foot. So this workout is great to increase your stamina. <laughs> I'm sure you could probably tell already. We're nearly there. If you're having trouble on the rope, try to use your thumb and your index finger to control it. Keep it nice and loose in your hands. That's it. Swap legs. Awesome, you're doing really well. Let's keep it up. Skip me take you back to your school days. <laughs> I know I did a lot of skipping when I was at school. That's it, tending to alternating. If you find that you're making mistakes regularly, that's okay. Get straight back into it. Skipping comes with practice. It's one of the best. Best exercise you can do when you're traveling as well. You can just take a skipping rope in your bag. Even backpackers, they have no excuse. Nearly there. Awesome. Check your rope down. Okay, we're nearly out of break, not yet. We're gonna come down into squat pops. So our feet are gonna be about hip width apart, a little bit further, coming down, back up. They're nice and nice and fast, they're pops. If this is too hard, you can just control it, down and up, down and up. Everyone else, we're doing pops. Keeping that heart rate nice and high. Awesome. The next one we're doing, doing lunges. So we've got one foot on our step, the other foot forward, making sure we're all in line. We're coming down. Making sure that the um, knee's not going over the foot. This is too hard. You can start on the ground. Lunge position, 90 degrees, coming up and down. That's it. Nearly there. Awesome. Have a, grab a drink. If you want, keep skipping through the ad. Keeping that heart rate up. Everyone else, have a rest. Hi, welcome back. Let's get straight into the second half of our warm up. So we've got double bounce. Skipping is a nice high impact exercise, so we want to keep nice and light on the balls of the feet. That's it. It's a bit easier now after a break, isn't it? <laughs> now let's go and try right leg. Keeping our hips nice and even. Starts to get sore means you're doing it right. We want to, we want this to hurt. <laughs> Nearly there. I don't know about you guys, but I can feel the lactic in my right calf muscle. <laughs> Make sure you breathe. Let's get that removed. Left leg. See it. Keep it up. If you're not puffing, you're not going hard enough. I want you to go harder. Fast. You spin the rope. How it is. Nearly there. 10 more seconds on our left. That's it. And alternating. Be 
speed it up if you can. Nope. <laughs> Get straight back into it. We've got 10 seconds. Nearly there. Put it in now. Good work. Okay, back to the start. We're into our push ups. Let's go. Down to our chest. Straight down. Remember our beginners? It's too hard, we're going straight down. Breathing as we're pushing up, breathing out, and in as we're going down. Nearly there. Getting our chest nice and low. Great work. Let's come into the dips. So we're legs out. If you can, if not, back in. We're going straight up and down. This should be hurting in the backs of your arms. You're going straight back. Nearly there. Five seconds. Great work. Back into skipping. Doesn't stop, does it? We want this heart rate high the whole time. Let's think about the posture now. We want our shoulders back and down, our chest up. Nearly there. It's your right leg. Awesome work. Let's keep this intensity nice and high. We're working for 30 minutes today. We might as well put in the effort now. Skipping works all year round. In summer, when it's hot outside, you can be exercising in the cool aircon. Or if in winter, it's cold outside, you don't want to go outside if it's raining. You can burn your calories indoors. Let's go left leg. Awesome work at home. We want to make sure that our knees are going straight forward, our feet are going straight forward. We want to be all, all the line. Let's go alternating. We don't have many skipping intervals to go. I want everyone to go as hard as they can. Let's see it. We've got 15 seconds. Go hard now. Let's see it. Nice and light on the feet. Five seconds. Awesome, that's skipping done. Let's go down into our plank position. So if you can, we're going up into um, the start of our push-up position and back down. If you're finding this difficult, in a normal plank position, it's totally okay. If that's um, too difficult, we can go down onto our knees and then straight back up as soon as you can. That's really good. It's 30 seconds. We're done. Okay, now we're going to do the same in, on our, um, in our plank position, but our feet are going out. We're doing toe taps. So you're remembering to breathe. If toe taps is too hard, in that plank position again. Last toe taps we'll be doing today. Three, two, one. And that we get. Last skipping interval. Let's go. We've got double foot bounce. Last time we're doing everything today, let's give it all we've got. Whoops. Let's go straight back into it. Let's get that heart rate as high as we can. Right leg. 
I hope you're all sweating at home. Think about your posture. So you're getting tired. Shoulders back and down. Chest up. Five seconds. And left leg. Good work. How's your balance going today? Balance coordination. We're working on it. Fifteen seconds to go. Good work. Let's sit now, alternating. Let's have some fun. As go as hard as you can go. Oops, let's go. Straight back into it. We work last little bit, 15 seconds. We're nearly there. Your workout's nearly done. You guys have worked hard, it's been awesome. Five seconds. Rope down. Good riddance, some of you might say. Okay, let's come into our squat pops. So nice and fast. We're nearly there. Making sure we're not knocking, locking out those knees. We want soft knees. This is too much. That's fine, just slow the intensity down. And up and down. Nearly there. Three seconds. Good work. Now we're going to be working the opposite to the leg um, than the one that you just did in the previous set. Okay, let's go straight up and down, making sure that knee isn't coming over the toe. Nice and low. Beginners, we're going up and down. That's it. This is the last bit of work today, hard work. Get nearly there. Awesome, we're done. Let's jump up into a stretch. We'll do our lower body first. Stretch out these calves. So just on your step, we're dropping one, one ankle backwards off the step, stretching out that calf muscle. That's it. This should feel good after all that skipping. <laughs> That's it, and let's swap. Dropping that heel as deep as it goes. Awesome. Jump down. Stretch out our quads. If you want to go deeper stretch, pull that knee slightly behind your other one. Making sure you're getting that breathing regular. Back to normal, bringing that heart rate down. And switch. Bringing that toe back towards the knee. I can definitely feel these stretches. I hope you can too at home. <laughs> they feel good. Great session today. I hope you all enjoyed it. It was quite intense. The heart rate was high. The full, the full amount of time. That's what we want. It's really good. That's it. Upper body. Interlace your fingers and reach out as far as you can go out the front, dropping that shoulder, the sorry, the head between the shoulders. Stretching out your upper back. And the same behind, interlock arms. Raise them up if you can to get a greater stretch. Great work. Let's come down to the ground. 
Take the child's pose. So we're reaching out nice and far forward and trying to get our bottom towards our feet. Last one we'll do, we'll do a glute stretch. So we're coming onto our, um, we'll put our left foot as a stabilizing one, put your foot into your knee and push your bottom towards just um, your foot on the ground. That's it. Other one. Awesome, let's jump up to a little lie. We haven't stretched, uh, stretched out our triceps and our biceps. Let's go. After those push-ups, those dips. Hopefully not too sore tomorrow. That's why we're stretching. Get rid of the soreness. Another one. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed working out with me today. I've had some fun, I hope you have too. Put up with it. Shoulder. That's it. Switch. Out behind, stretch out with his biceps. That's good, <laughs> feels nice. Turn your hands over, your palms facing up towards the sky. Shrugging those shoulders down. Just nice shoulder rolls. And now you're really done. <laughs> I'm Maury from Babes on the Run, you can Google us. And yeah, it was a great workout with you guys today. Thanks for joining me.